okay step number one is going to be to remove the, the wire because we want to make sure that this is completely loose so we can remove the wire from the top from the handle so for that i'm going to use a socket that is a 5 sixteenths uh, and then i can use i'm going to use a adjustable wrench and a roller plier so first thing we're going to do is a uh, simple with the adjustable wrench we are going to hold uh, the biggest um, nut and then the other one we are going to actually oh, wrong way loosen them up and this is called breaking breaking down then once it's loose a little bit what we are going to do is find um, open up over here because we don't want to actually cut the wire actually no, we don't want to do anything of that we want to save this cable for future references so right there so once it's there now we can actually remove the first um, nut let's get it out a little bit <laughs> is to remove it completely you can see right there now for this one I'm gonna need to adjust the wrench and the same as we did in the other one it's breaking them remove them from the where they are tied this parts together this one goes back in because I want to save it again as you can see over here the wire is already out once it's loose from, loose from the bottom uh, it becomes loose over here and that's gonna be your next step remove it right here and keep it loose so now um, this is the trick in order for me to get this wire back in properly without any problems what I'm going to do is connect this one over here so it gets me all the way uh, to the other end and I'm able to guide the other, the new wiring up. Uh, and also when you do it and when you do the installations through the side also, it will make your life easier when you do this way. I will sleep a little bit loose like that, so it's easier for you to remove later on. So I'm going to start doing that. Again, this you don't need to actually see it because I don't have to remove a lot of wires over here. All right, welcome back. So as we can see over here, I have my wires already in position as I want them and then the other way I want them out. Using the, the, the stream to put them up, you know, it's just the best way to do it. Over here, I removed uh, the, cable, uh, the, the screws already from the side, so it's just a matter of removing the two on the front. You can use a ski too, just to loosen up uh, the screws and then uh, uh, use the torque number 15 this will work fine over here to remove the, the screws from, from the from the stem so what i'm going to do here is um remove the unplug the, the dashboard from the controller 
that's the best way to do this like any installation where you're going to be touching the dashboard as you can see i have two thick wires and that's for the board connections and all that so that doesn't matter that can stay there they're protected so they're very thick so no problem so but this one now I'm sure that my scooter is completely off. Now that I have um, unplugged my my dashboard from the from the controller, I'm going to remove the, the grips. And by you putting your hand this way and pulling, that will get it off. And that will happen the same way with the original um, grip. So as you can see over here, I'm ready just to remove the screws and get the, the parts out. So, but first, we're going to remove the, the screws from here. Don't pay attention to the extra wires I have because the ones you're going to be working is going to be with this part only in the, in the plugging over here. So, as you see, I got my, my chocks out. So, the next thing is going to be for me. To remove the screws and for that you're gonna need a uh, torque head number 25 so you can do it like that it's sometimes it's a little hard so what you're gonna do is uh, get your right uh, just a wrench fit it properly and then start checking it see Simple as that, that is loose already. So right now, ready for the next. And like that. But in any case, I want to remove my, my, my extra gear first. What I'm doing right now is just loosening up all the screws because once um, this part is all off, it's um, difficult. You can see that it's completely out. I got out the screw for it. I don't know if I'm going to be needing that back but in any case. So let's continue with the removal of. <clears throat> First, now that I have everything loose, all these hard parts are loose. Um, I'm going to proceed to remove, uh, to loosen up that screw from the top and for that I need a um, torque head number 9 torque head number 9 that will release the, the screws from the top make sure to put your screws in a place where you will find them easily not to lose them Now for this part, so I need a very thin um, bit head for to remove this one, the screws, very small. So I just removed the screw screw from here, now I'm working on the second front, make sure to craft them and remove them, because you don't want them to go through, through the stem down. Number three off, and now I'm ready. Now I'm ready to remove the dashboard. So, so I'm gonna push it from the bottom. As you can see, I'm not pulling it from the top because I don't want to do any damage to it. So, I'm gonna actually put it, push it from the bottom towards the top, and then once I have the, the wire visible, I can actually pull it a little more. And that's all I will need for this, for this installation. So that's enough right there now as you can see it's very important for you to prepare before ahead of installation so as you can see over here i have my um zip tight that i'm going to be using one over here once i finish installing or if i need to uh, attach wires or fill them up um i can actually just do that so you can see over here i'm going to cut this one off 
itself. So now I'm going to be able to see what wires and what I can, what I'm going to be using there. You just going to plug it in and plug this one in. And the connectors are different the way that they connect also they're different. So you want to make a mistake in the connection. All right. So now is when we're ready to remove this part. Again, in this one, we need a torque head number uh, 25. Get all those uh, screws out. All right, so that's out. You can see I'm holding my parts. I'm gonna remove the screw. Off the way. So again, this part you're not gonna be needed because uh, the new part, the new installation is gonna install into this part. So, but in any case, we are going to need to unplug all the wires, everything that comes from in this side. So as I was saying, the connections are totally um, different. So as we can see, this is the light. The light is, um, it has two wires only. I don't have it connected in this scooter. But uh, as we can see, this is the, the brake light. The, uh, I mean, the, the, the brake um, wires. So simply unplug it. And then uh, you have over here for the, for the throttle, unplug it as well. So, and then you're off from the, from the dash. So make sure that, that, that even though if you know you have it unplugged from the power through a controller, uh, not to touch metals, just keep it that way. Keep it off. Now what we are going to do here is to remove this ones from here. Next thing you can do is just remove uh, the stems from here. I don't think you're going to be needing any more anyways. So put them on the side. Put all your butchers on the side and let's see anyhow anyhow i decided to do what you would supposedly be doing so in any case as we can see over here as remember i loosened up all the screws from this side uh so i removed the grip so um, now i'm removing my brake getting my my throttle out completely so i can actually get my hook out right there so that's basically what you're going to be doing and then you just can proceed to to install the, the throttle back so you don't lose the other parts and you know just save them okay guys i suspected the um the hook for the folding mechanism will not go in and that is because it has a a secure uh, um, bracket in the middle and that's for the regular Fitting. For this one, you're gonna have to file it down. You see this file part? This is uh, to scratch metal and remove, um, you know, fixed metal, basically. Remove uh, sharp edges and all that. So with this one, with the round part, actually, not with the flat one, you're gonna do this part until you file it and this part disappears. Once that disappears, this thing will go completely fine inside. So once you have it in a position that you want, drill a little hole, in here, make sure that it is thinner than the screw you're going to be using. So you want to put it in, the screw is going to be tight and also actually stays in. I haven't been able to speak to Chris, so I'm just going to speak on what my thoughts are. He came with two throttles. I mean, I know that Chris sent me one, but I don't know which one is it. So this one, I don't know if this is the one for trend chart set. I like it, but it's kind of big and bulky. And the position that it should go is like that. So. So it's going to be like a, a little bit too much far away from my finger to be and won't be able to hold my the grip and be in position. So it's going to be too much, I think. So again, it's, I like it, but it's too much. So I'm going to proceed to use this one. I saw the other guy that, I, that um, installed one. I don't know if um, he got it from Chris or he came with, uh, with actual original grip. But this is the one I'm going to choose. I like it, it feels solid and it's just right there, it's small, it's not bulky. Alright, sorry Chris, if I hurt your feelings. <laughs> Anyways, so this installation over here is going to have to happen this way. You hit that click, once that click is done, it's done, it's mean that, uh, that is in place. So we're just going to put it for the meantime over there, because this part is best to install them before beforehand. 
All right, so we have it right there in position. Now we're gonna go with the, this has to be done before actually, because um, um, as we can see, this one doesn't have come with an extension as this one. This one, it comes with a, another plug, which you can adjust once you install it in the, inside the, the scooter. I mean, you can actually unplug it and remove it and move it outside all the way out if you need. But this one, the lever, it has to be already in. Because if you see the, the distance, this is gonna be inside like this, in the scooter, so you won't have enough space to space to, to put it in. So you wanna put this one first before actually uh, going ahead and doing the rest of the installation. So that one has to be placed over there. First, we're gonna secure it a little bit using an Allen key. Doesn't necessarily need to be in place as you want because it's just for for it for us to be able to to um, to put the wiring inside the where it's need to go. And as you can see, I mean, he gave all the, the the keys that you need, and these are basically exactly all the ones that I'm using right now. All right, so what's gonna happen here? I'm going to use the uh, shorter screws for the main installation. Okay guys, so this foam is a special foam that, that is used for um, actually, it comes on the scooters and all uh, good brands, this, this kind of foam, it comes in it. It resists to, to heat, you know, the weather. So look at the link below in, the, in, my, in this video. So you can actually get it from, from the same place. We're gonna use the same, uh, the same busher. The same original ones, we're going to put it back and the wire is going to go in right there, same position. And then this one is going to be the one that is going to uh, hold the wires in. So it, once this one goes in, once, once we we pressure it, this thing, it will seal completely. Uh, you won't need to do any extra things, like you might need to print something, this will do the trick. Seal it up and this kind of foam is not the one that it deformed quickly. So. So as we can see these two pins over there, right? So what we're gonna do is um, mark our foam. Right there. So we have the marks. Now we're gonna make some little holes over there. As we can see, I have my foam already with holes. So now for the wires to go in, I'm gonna make I'm gonna use this, it's gonna be the bottom part of it. I don't wanna have anything on the top, any openings. So for the wires, I'm gonna do something like this. All right, so now we have this part over here, we're gonna test it and see if it works. First of all, I'm gonna put my wire in, first one. The one that comes from the left. Put your butcher for. So you can see this thing it doesn't seal properly so it's um it's just for the wires protection so for water issues this we need to make this extra part which is going to be this one and again you can do it in your in your home you don't have to be going to find out somebody who will print it for you that's about the, as much of the you need this um, wire length like an inch and a half an inch inside the, the scooter Right, we want one side to the other side. Like that. All right, so now that we are in that position, see this piece over here, the hole, this hole is the one that is gonna go inside there, in there. Remember to use your thread locker once you're doing this installation. I'm not gonna do use thread locker right now because um, it's actually, I'm gonna have to redo this properly for my installation. This is for the purpose of you to install it. Again, these are the same keys that um, you will be using for your installation from the charge set. Um, from the charge set, um, Installation kit. I'm not using any machinery to do this. I'm doing it by hand, so it'll be just the same.
All right, so that will be basically the installation. As you can see, that is done. So, this is a very easy thing to do. Talia Pills is very easy, easy. So, next step is going to be for you to put your, as you can see, it's not difficult to understand how it's going to go. The name is over there. So, you just want to put it <coughs> straight in place. And then, it's when you get your longer screws. Because that's the purpose of them for them to be able to put a ton of pressure to the to the grip. And if you have somebody who can help you to hold the parts, it's always way better. <laughs> yeah. Like me over here, I have to well, keep watching the phone, the camera, and um, and then um. Install the parts. Something I want to make sure is that when we put a pressure to the screws, um, we want to make sure that they go actually clapping about the same uh, distance. Once we start to feel a little pressure, things when we put our grip in position. Again, my position is going to be that way. So that's about it for my installation right there. So now we're gonna do proceed to <coughs> to connect wires. Again, so again here we are. We have a male. We're gonna find a female connection. And it only has one way of going, so that's how it is. Now we need uh, we have a female from the Dutch. First uh we have a female from the dash towards the handlebar look into a male so <laughs> yes look into a male position right there that's how it is then what you're going to do is you're going to put your cover here i mean this one remember you don't need to touch it so that's going to be connected to your light so what you're going to do is uh, put this thing in like this, make sure your connections are tied. Again, that's supposed to be inside there. Preparation always is important, so make sure to have all your parts when you're ready to install. Again, so this is going to go that way. I'm not going to do that right now, but that's how it's going to go like this. So to make sure that those connections stay together and then so next step is to put our screws back and again using that fine fine uh, bit these bloody little screws Next step. Hey guys, this is a really easy installation. It looks very nice. It's already feeling like a different scooter. Like I have my whiteboard. I mean, this is gonna be amazing. This is gonna feel just like mine. Now my next step over here is going to be to plug my Dutch. Plug my dash right there, connect my throttle. Like that. So if I don't get any errors in this installation, so we can see if I don't get any errors or anything as soon as I turn on my, my scooter, I mean, I press the, the brake over here and everything is fine. So it's meaning that the installation is good. And I won't press the throttle because I'm gonna hurt myself. This thing runs without any pushing. So that's about it. I mean, that's the installation for this and this part. So the next step over here is going to be 
as we remember we have this cable over here to put on which is for the brake so let's do that right now this thing what are you going to do simply remember to oil it synthetic oil is very good for this uh for brakes all right so as we can see over here that's the, the hole where this thing goes so what we're going to do is simple do this push it in bring it over and that's it that's the installation for it now we're going to install the, the bottom part of it i'm going to show you remove this the scooter up and okay guys so we're going to proceed to do this uh, install the, the brake now so we're going to remove these parts like this but in my case i'm not going to use it because this one is black and i want to keep it black so i'm going to keep this installed so i'll remove this ones um remove one nut the oil so I'm going to those parts where they actually rose a lot so it's better to oil them for anything all right so now <clears throat> that that is done so I'm going to proceed to add as you can see a retro locker I'm gonna use my I'm gonna take my nut I'll do it right there. Now I'm going to hold it from one side. I'm going to put pressure from the other one. Just a little bit, doesn't need to be crazy tight. Alright, so now we're going to put this part in. Pull this out. Push it back in. Now this part is important. See this oval part over here? It's a little oval. That one is, has to be against the, the support pin. Right there. So what we're going to do is uh, pull it like this. And don't cut your pin. I used to cut the pin, but I find learned that in the hard way. But if you cut your pin, I mean, um, because these are uh, the, the pads are already damaged, they are deep inside, so this pin sticks out. But if you if you uh, once you put new new pads on it for the brakes, the brake pads, this uh this pin will not fit anymore because um it opens up more. So you want to keep uh, keep it the way it is. Don't cut it. Brake thread locker right there. Get your second nut, the pressure nut. This is a small one. Right there. Hold the hold the bigger nut. And then grab your socket. Or you can use the other adjust all range. Alright, so that's about it. About this bottom part. So the bottom part is already in place. So let's go back to the top. Don't forget to put your screws over here. This is two over here, two on the side and two on the other side. Make sure to tighten them up properly and uh, tighten up all your screws properly. Use a, um, a thread locker for best and secure purposes. Uh, do that in all the screws that you're gonna be installing even though they have a little thread locker, use more. Again, put your screws back and that should be all. And okay guys, I wanted to show this part over here as we can see that um, my, my sealant and that's pretty secure i'm sorry to tell you guys but you don't need to print anything this thing will do the job and it costs you like a a dollar to do all this this little thing and then you just cut it you know it's perfectly you know minding that you have the wires over there so you just cut it off and it's perfect it feels awesome already so but basically what you're going to do after all this and all, after you have all this is consolidate your your wires in the position as you like and then um Put your parts all together and that will be all it looks amazing so far it looks great thank you charge set and thank you chris for giving me this for me to try so and here we are uh already testing it i'm gonna show it once i have all my parts installed it but mainly this is all the installation you guys are gonna be doing just remember to put your <coughs> your your cylinder your cylinder over here which is uh 
are the ones that go with there so you want to make sure that, to put them back so this will put pressure on us so the water will not go in and this makes it waterproof okay guys anyway so that's it thank you very much for watching yes and cats guys new york take care